Hi, my name is Art Cambeek. Today we're going to be viewing another video from my wife, Linda. This video is called The Time of the End, and it's a very important video on prophecy. We hope you get a blessing from it. We also ask if you really enjoy it and get a blessing from these videos that you would hit the subscribe button and also the like button. This will get us higher rankings with YouTube and more people will be able to see these videos. So again, thank you for taking time to view these videos and we wish you a blessing. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Linda Camby. Today we're going to study how to recognize our adversary, Lucifer the Devil during the coming end of the days. The Bible cautions us about the devil's evil schemes with special warnings about the end of the days. And why should we study the devil's evil schemes? Well, Peter says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. In this video, we will study two points. Point one is what is meant by the term end of the days. And point two, during the end of the days, what is Lucifer going to be doing? Let's investigate the term end of the days. Daniel said, blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. But you, Daniel, go your way until the end, for you shall rest, that is, you will die and rest in your grave, and will arise to your inheritance at the end of the days. And Jesus says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. Revelation says, And these are they who have come out of the great tribulation. The 1,335 days of the great tribulation is really the end of the days. At the end of the 1,335 days, Jesus will appear in the sky and take the saints to heaven. Okay, so here we are today. We haven't come to the Great Tribulation yet. The end of the days the 1,300 days are all exactly the same time frame. Here is a timeline with days, 200 days in each segment until the last when, when it is 60 and 75. Here is day one. And the four trumpets of wrath will be released. This hasn't occurred yet, so this is still in the future. And at about day 60, we think, the sea beast will appear from Revelation 13.1 and the land beast as well. And then along about day 880, about two thirds of the way in, Lucifer himself will impersonate Jesus. And if possible, he will deceive the very elect. And day 1260 takes place and then the seven last plagues come. And the last day of the Great Tribulation, day 1335, Jesus returns, the one we have waited for, 
and we long to see. So, what is meant by the end of the days? Let me explain the end of the days in my own words. Sin entered into the world about 6,000 years ago. God told Adam and Eve that of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you will surely die. But they didn't die that day. And why? Because Jesus stepped in and volunteered on that day to pay mankind's death penalty and to die for all of our sins. Jesus' sacrifice was not personally just for Adam and Eve and their sins, but his sacrifice was for the entire world. His sacrifice was both a personal sacrifice for, for Adam and Eve's sin on that day, but it was also a corporate sacrifice for the entire world. This beloved text of John 3.16 is a global, a corporate promise. For God so loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever in the whole world believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Are we approaching the end of the days? I believe that God has allowed sin to run its course for the last 6,000 years on earth. Consider, God has given us a template of sevens in the Bible. The very first one he made was when he created the earth in six days, and then he rested on the seventh giving us a seven-day week. He gave the seven-year jubilee cycle to the Jewish nation. The Jewish army was instructed to march around Jericho for seven days. In Joseph's time, God gave seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. In prophecy, there are seven churches, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven plagues. You get the idea. There are many other references to the number seven. I think the number seven is God's favorite number, a number of completion. Consider this, 6,000 years of sin on earth and a thousand years of rest in heaven for a total time of 7,000 years. The book of Revelation tells us that when Jesus returns, he will take us back with him to heaven for a thousand years of rest, a millennium Sabbath of rest. Six thousand years of sinning on earth and a thousand years of rest in heaven for a total of seven thousand years. Let's consider this timeline. There, beginning in the Garden of Eden until today is approximately 6,000 years. And if there's a thousand years in heaven, that's 7,000 years in total. I think we're very close to the end of the days. During the upcoming end of the days, Lucifer will fully reveal his evil character. This is God's 7,000 year timeline to conclude the sin issue on earth. The Metal Man prophecy in Daniel 2 follows a timeline that extends all the way to the end of the days, where God sets up his kingdom. And in the days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom, 
which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all of these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. This is 2,600 year timeline. Jesus came between BC and AD. And it goes clear down to our time, the year 2020. Now let's superimpose Daniel 2 prophecy line, timeline. Notice it begins 600 years before Christ and goes all the way until number seven, God's kingdom shall be established. We have not yet reached these 10 kings. They are coming soon. And in the days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. The end of the days, the great tribulation, and then God will set up his kingdom. We are very near the end of the days. In our next video, we will investigate how Lucifer will manifest himself during the 1,335 days of the end of the days. Now let's make a little summary of the end of the days. Let's see what we have learned so far. First, many Bible prophecies point to this time period. Daniel 12 identifies 1,335 days as the end. God set up templates based on the number seven, for example, the seven-day week. Sin has existed on earth for 6,000 years. Including the thousand-year millennium in heaven, this brings us to a total of 7,000 years. We are very near the end of the days. The two beasts of Revelation 13 come into prominence in the last days. The sea beast and the land beast, and these will be covered in the following video. The end of the days and the great tribulation and the 1,335 days all point to the same period of time. So I have a question for you. Do you think we are near the end of the days? Please let us know your feelings by leaving a comment below or sending us an email. Thank you. So my friend, keep studying your Bible. Earth's time is surely running out. And Jesus is coming soon.